Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So earlier this week, I did a plan with me in my work planner and I talked about my weather station. Um, so I decided to show you today exactly what that is and how I, how I use the weather station. And while I am going to show you in the classic, um, we'll look at many options. And then of course, anything in the classic is going to be the same as the big option. So as you start to prepare for that, uh, just kind of think about, you know, what that, what that looks like. All right, so I'm gonna pull this week out, or that, that part of the week out, and then I'm gonna bring over these journaling cards. Now, because I like everything to kind of coordinate, I am going to keep an eye out for which one is gonna be the best. And then how it folds is another thing. That one's too big, I think. Ah, these sheets, they are just confusing me. Mm -hmm. I think that these are too colorful for this particular, it's kind of a muted tone spread. You know, you know what I mean? Like all these are very colorful. This could work. All right, so this one is an option. These were new, newly released. These are like the journaling stickers. I bought a few packs of them. I, um, that could be okay too. Um, I bought a few packs of them and have loved them so far, but they're not, I would say that for the price, you know, for this purpose, it works out good, but for the price, you have to be really sure that you want them. Um, okay. So the way that these particular sticker works and, stickers work and what I will say is if you don't have if you don't want to use these journaling stickers that form you can make your own um, really simply all you have to do is take a really long sticker and on the back part of the sticky part double up another sticker and then keep half of it sticky um, or you can you know there's lots of different ways you can do it so it just depends on what your style and I believe in my heart of hearts that maybe created these because of how many women were actually already using them like that but there is long ones that would go down the whole stretch for this week. I'm just going to plop it up here. Like right about there. You're going to want to make sure it's super stuck down and good. Okay, so there is lots of different ways that you could do this particular weather station. But for me... What I like to do is, um, and the reason why I like to have this accessible is because I like to be able to see my weather for the week projected when I'm scheduling appointments. So a lot of times when I'm on the phone making determinations on my schedule, that's where I would also check the weather. And because of that, I want to have it accessible in my planner. And sometimes I'm also making decisions based on this without my phone in front of me. It's nice to not have to have that extra device to like look it up and then get distracted because you know if I open my phone, there's gonna be like 15,000 million notifications. And then I'm gonna go try to go to the notification. And I'm gonna get distracted and then I'm going to forget to even check the weather and then it's defeated purpose. So this is what, that sticker is still not sticking down properly. I'm going to fix that right now too. But this is where I have it for this week and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And we're going to start by just writing the day, the letter. No. Okay. And I'm probably going to sneeze any second. Achoo! All right. I'm sorry. Oh, I felt it coming. I was trying to hold it back, but sometimes you just can't do that. All right. So then now that I have the days of the week, I'm going to flip open to the planner or the sticker book of my choice that has, uh, what are these things called? 
little icon stickers with the rain, sun, you know, all this good stuff. And then I'm going to coordinate it to my weather for the week, which I don't presently. Okay. Pardon me. Pardon me for a moment. All right, so Monday is sunny, which is great. Tuesday is sunny and cloudy combination. Wednesday is rainy. That's snow. Now, the 5144 is the one I'm using, but they, these little icons are in lots of different sticker books. The tiny sticker book, um, they're in, there's some other sticker books. They're in the tiny sticker book, they're in the journaling sticker books, they're in a lot of different sticker books. And although you could just like write an arrow down, which is probably what I would traditionally do to the next day, um, just to f fulfill it out this week, I'm not. Now, also, I, while I do have a Monday through <coughs> Sunday weather station, I'm normally not as concerned about the um, weather on these particular days. But it just kind of depends on what my week looks like. So, yeah. All right. There is that portion of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the rough, like basically just the high, just like the average temperature for the day. So Monday is going to be 25 degrees. Tuesday is going to be 35. It's going to be cold, y'all. Wednesday, oh, Wednesday, it's warming up. That's why we're not getting snow when it rains. It's going to be 47. And Thursday is going to be, four, both rainy days are going to be the warm days. <laughs> Friday is going to be 33. Saturday is going to be 29. And then Sunday is going to be 32. So now, as I look, and not to say that this won't change ever, what I would also recommend doing is maybe not, if you're like unsure if your weekly forecast changes a lot throughout the week, just put a few days in and then maybe fill out the icons later. If you like put the few that you have, if you feel as though it's going to change significantly, but uh, then it just closes up. And it's in there in your planner, but it didn't overwhelm it. And you just flip it open, and there you have it. It is ready to go. And what I'd also recommend is do your best to try not to stick the stickers on the crease because it will inevitably cause them harm in the long run. Um, if you do not want to have a flip over like this, maybe you just want it over to the side and you don't even have to worry about it, then go ahead and just put it. Just like I have the sticker right here, but just do the same thing. Just write it out. Maybe cover the top with washi and just write it out down the line. I like to have mine in the covered portion um, just because, you know, just because I like it, but not for any other reason. And there's lots of different ways, though, that you can that you can actually make that work. Now, because I'm going to do this right here right now. There we go. <laughs> now it covers the words, but that's okay. It's all right. It's no problem. No problem at all. Um, but you now have a weather station in the side of your planner ready to go. Now let's talk about let's talk about the mini. Okay, let's talk about the mini for a moment. If you're a mini planner, 
And I'm going to show you, tuck that back in. I'm going to show you how I have, I don't do it in my mini because I already have, you know, I already have lots of other stuff in my mini and I, I don't need it in my mini as much. But I'm going to open, let's just open to a month, monthly, monthly overview. Um, if you're looking at your weekly and you want to use the same type of cards, now this is the dashboard layout, so it's going to be a little bit different. But if you're looking at your weekly and you're looking at where you want to do it, my recommendation would be to do it right here. And if you can't find a journaling card that flips up that way or the other way, then just do it in this little focus box if you're working on a... Um, in a dashboard layout for your mini. If you have the traditional horizontal layout, there's normally a little notes tab down here. That's where I would put it, is just down in that notes tab. It's basically the same size as this, just on the other side of the page, and I would just put it in that notes tab, and that will accomplish the same thing. But there is a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of these, for example, let's take this one, for example. It's gonna open up like this, but you could, you know, it's got the goal section, but you could cover that and put it right here on this side. And then when you open it, you could have Monday, Tuesday, you know, along the bottom like that and then put the sticker below it. So it's going to be the, the same idea, but different um, and using the same, basically the same exact thing. So it's just a really quick, easy way to have the weather accessible to you as you're making decisions and plans for the rest of the week. And it's super simple to do. And normally those icons that have a lot of those weather icons have a lot. So you should be able to, without a problem, fulfill at least a few weeks of your time. Um, another option is if you're not really super busy on the weekends and you want to omit the weekends, you can leave them off as, as well and then do a smaller sheet of them. But there you have it. There's your weather station in your planner for the week. And uh, very easy to do. It doesn't take any time at all. And then you have everything right at your fingertips. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to join me on the next one. And of course, you know, subscribe so you don't miss more fun. All right, everyone. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day.